brought us champagne wishes and caviar dreams. And tonight we remember Las Vegan Robin Leach, who pioneered celebrity and entertainment news and was a champion for our hometown. Leach died here in our hometown in Las Vegas. He was 76 years old. He lived a life that most of us can only dream about, and he called Las Vegas a place that he loved home for many years, and we're gonna miss him. News 3's Jeff Gillen with Remembrances. Good evening, everybody. Few people were as synonymous with this city as Robin Leach. He was a celebrity journalism pioneer and a real ambassador for the city he loved. Leach. The end came early this morning in Las Vegas. His second serious stroke in months, and this time he could not overcome a body that failed. He was 76. Stephen Leach is one of his children. It was really unfortunate after 10 months that this came down, but you know, we can't control everything. And as good as the prognosis looked all along, you know, this was just a, a double whammy that just hit him, and, you know, it was unfortunate. Journalism was in Leach's blood. He started working at a newspaper in Britain at 15. But what made him a household name around the world? I send you all champagne wishes and caviar dreams. Was his TV window into wealth. Lifestyles of the rich and famous made him both rich and famous and ran on TV from 84 to 1995. He was a celebrity journalism pioneer. In 1999, he moved here and ever since called Las Vegas home. Entertainer Pia Zadora was one of his very close friends. Robin was unique because he combined, I mean, he brought old style glamour and show business and he connected it to a modern generation. Leach chronicled Las Vegas' stars and celebrities. Las Vegas lost one of its biggest cheerleaders in the passing of Robin Leach. He will forever be part of the legacy of the entertainment capital of the world and will be greatly missed. With every show, every round of applause, every opening, he will be remembered and celebrated. What will you remember of, of Robin? Well, Robin really for us created memories that I never thought possible. Rhonda Wyatt and her husband Jeff owned the wine store and restaurant Marche Bacchus, one of Leach's favorite hangouts. They were close friends and traveled together abroad. We're sitting in a restaurant in a small town in Tuscany and people hear his voice and immediately turn around and recognize who it is just by his voice alone. Uh, and if that's not an ambassador for Las Vegas to the rest of the world, you tell me what is. He had a love affair with Las Vegas, using his connections and celebrities to help local charities and organizations. He never said no to a meeting or conversation about ways to help the Lou Ruvo Center for Brain Health patients, caregivers, and families. Thank you for all you've done for us. We'll keep your memory alive forever. You know, everybody sees him running around hotels and doing this and that, but I think the, the biggest thing that I'd like people to remember is his generosity. In the end, he died here, a city that became his home. But he chose Vegas. He absolutely loved it here. Plans for a memorial are pending. Robin Leach would have been 77 next Wednesday. Jeff Gillen, News 3. Jeff, thank you. And we want to let our viewers know we're watching those remembrances and tributes that are pouring in from all over the world for our neighbor, Robin Leach. And of course, that includes many Las Vegans. We are hearing from Las Vegas Mayor Carolyn Goodman, who says of him, now an eternity of champagne and caviar. We've lost a dear, dear friend and a wonderful man. Rest in peace, Robin Leach. Las Vegas headliner Celine Dion also posting her remembrance. She writes, she was saddened to hear the news that Robin had passed away. He was a thoughtful and considerate man and a great supporter of the entertainment scene in Las Vegas. And News 3 is posting more of these recollections and remembrances for Las Vegas' ambassador on our Facebook and Twitter page. You can see them by heading to our website, News3LV.com. Arizona Republican Senator John McKinney.